Hey, what is up guys, Yelly Monster here with another replay. This replay was sent in by Base Dweller, so thank you my guy for sending this game in and then letting me cast it. So yeah, let's get into the draft. Looks like for the side of the Radiant we have Pudge. Probably gonna be the position 4, although uh, might be the 5, I'm not quite sure. I do see the Spirit Breaker with the boots and uh, setting up in the offlane, so it might be the 4 Spirit Breaker and the 5 Pudge, we'll see. Uh, Slaughter probably gonna be in the off lane, Racer in mid, I'm guessing, and then uh, safe lane PA. Uh, pretty cool stuff. This uh, mid game timing, you know, uh, you know, once PA gets uh, gets his death, so, and then with the corrosive haste on the Slaughter, it's gonna be pretty nasty. So we'll see uh, how these radiant team is able to do. And then for the side of the dire, it's like we have Ember Spirit gonna be in the mid, Rubik four, I'm guessing, and then Earth Spirit five. Yep. Offlane dark, uh, dark Seer and then the safe lane Luna. Pretty standard stuff from the from the dire. Uh, a little bit of a trade going on here between the Spirit Breaker and the uh, Earth Spirit, but nothing gonna come off it. Luna trying to sneak the River Rune here, but that's a lot of raiding heroes, so I might need to be a little bit careful. And yeah, he's gonna back up. Oh. <laughs> Hook came through, but I think he only hooked the Slark, and I think at the end of the day it's gonna be two for two. Yep, two for two inside the runes. Pretty standard stuff. Um, yeah, this. Uh, oh, hold a minute. Actually, it's gonna be the slaughter in mid. Oh, interesting. That's very interesting. I'm surprised they're actually putting a melee hero against the um, against the Ember Spirit. Um, you know, it's a little bit rough uh, going against Ember Spirit um, because of his uh, flame guard. But, uh, and I was expecting, you know, they would put the uh, Razor. Razor doesn't, you know, first pretty well against Ember Spirit. Maybe once he gets level 6, uh, Razor can no longer get a kill on the end, until the Ember Spirit. But, very interesting choice. Um, curious to see how it's going to work out. He went for the level 1 Slithering, Slithering Crush, but I think that was uh, for the, you know, for the Bounty Runes or something like that. I don't think he actually wanted that uh, level 1 for laning. But, does get a point to the passive, into the passive. I think it's called Crush of the Deep. Bash of the Deep. Oh, Link coming on through into the Luna, sucking a little bit of the damage, minus 34 damage. She'll be okay, but for the duration being, it's gonna be a little bit hard for her to last it. Oh, Bash coming on through, nice little kick there under the tower. Taking, you know, taking one little uh, tower shot there. Nicely done there by the Earth Spirit, but honestly, this lane switch off, honestly, was pretty decent. Like, um, Racers, I mean, honestly, wherever, whichever lane he goes, he's gonna do pretty well. And I guess this Luna doesn't really like her damage getting sucked and Earth Spirit not really like um, the strongest laner. Um, you know, I think this Racer is going to be able to do pretty well up here in the top lane. And then, you know, Spirit Breaker, once he gets his level 2, a few more um, points into the Greater Bash. Uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit troublesome. So I, I like the, um, the top setup coming up from the, from the side of the Radiant. We'll see how well the Luna is able to farm. On the bot, I mean, Dark Seer, you know, he's just gonna spam Iron Shell and uh, he should be pretty chillin'. It is gonna be a little bit rough for the PA to last it against the Iron Shell, especially once this Dark Seer gets like, you know, double Iron Shell onto the creep wave. Um, it's gonna deal quite a bit of damage. Uh, maybe, if, you know, this um, this Phantom Assassin was uh, was not a Phantom Assassin, but it was actually a range hero. Should be, oh, Hulk, a little bit off the mark there, a little bit unfortunate. Might have landed him a kill, but, you know, he had to surge. Would have put him a little bit low. But yeah, it's once uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit rough for the PA, but so far she's been able to last it decently well, uh, almost as well as the as the Luna. So both off lanes doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, neither safe laner having too great of a time. I think it's kind of due to their you know position five not really being the strongest. Uh, you know five punch not really the strongest and then uh, five or spirit not really the strongest not not able to alleviate some of this pressure coming in from the from the off lanes over by the mid slaughter having an advantage not surprised i mean uh, dude going against like uh, this bash uh the slaughter it's really annoying to last it against and um yeah, like every three, every three hits, uh, you get bashed, and that bash deals quite a bit of damage. So, 
Uh, Luna actually having to TP back to base. Uh, I think she either got, yeah, she got all her damage, no, not all her damage, but a decent amount of damage sucked out and then uh, had to TP on back. A little bit unfortunate. Now it's gonna have to take the long walk back to uh, back to his lane, Spirit Breaker. Making a charge. I'm not sure um, he was charging mid, but trying to make a move onto mid. Actually, Slaughter is sitting a little bit low. Needs to be careful. Oh my god, that bash. Dude, it is so much damage. It's insane. Uh, I've seen Slaughter in mid once, like when I was playing in one of my pubs, and it was the same setup, Slaughter in mid, and then PA, um, PA in the safe lane. PA just rushed the Desolator, and we got absolutely demolished. Their mid game time was way too strong. Oh, Ember Spear in a little bit of trouble. Got his null delivered out to him, but it's gonna end up going down. Didn't quite have the low six, and nice rotation coming on through from the uh, from the Spear Breaker. Honestly, like. Dude, there's nothing the <laughs> there's nothing the Ember Spirit could have done there. Um, it was a pretty rough, um, pretty rough rotation, and you know the matchup uh, against Lardar is it's kind of rough. You know, like uh, the bashes of the deep, they they hurt, man. They don't feel too nice. Once Ember does get his level six, he'll be able to play in the lane a little bit better. But until then, he's gonna have to be a little bit cautious um, uh, from the rotations coming on through it. Even just uh, even just the Slaughter himself has quite a bit of kill potential. So, down here in the bot, this Darkseer doing pretty well in the last hits. Like, um, you know, it is Darkseer. He's able to pretty much clean up the cre whole creep wave pretty easily. Uh, PA doing a good job of just, you know, not uh, not taking too much harass and, you know, using the daggers pretty well to take the last hits. And rotations coming on through over a top. Racer in a lot of, in a lot of trouble. Fairy Fire does get popping. He has to manage to get the return kill onto Luna. He does end up falling down, but he does get the kill into Luna before that. Spirit Breaker in a little bit of trouble roll. Gonna be a little bit off the mark. Slara does end up going down in the mid lane. In the meanwhile, Spirit Breaker getting chased out and he's gonna be able to charge away. Nicely done there. Actually, I'm gonna... I actually wanna rewind and see what happened over by the mid. Cause that was curious. The Slara going down. I wasn't quite expecting that. But really nice play by the Racer popping the Fairy Fire again. The return kill onto Luna before he goes down. So look, Ember Spirit not quite level six. Slardar already six. Oh, nice dodge there of the crush with the slides, chains gets the kill nicely done. And is he even gonna run away from the punch? Yeah, gets level six and just able to remnant it away. Wow, really nicely done there by this Ember Spirit dodging the the crush with the. Um, with the slide of fist, dodges a crush, and uh, this Slaughter was banking on that uh, on that crush to land. If that crush actually lands onto the Ember Spirit, maybe he doesn't even, maybe he doesn't get the kill, and maybe he ends up going down himself. But dodges the dodges the crush and gets a kill onto the onto the Slaughter. Really nicely done there by the Ember Spirit. Really impressed by that dodge there. Oh, Racer, gonna pop the Static Storm. Oh, the Eye of the Storm. Oh, Rubik needs to be a little bit careful. Oh no. Yeah, it's just way too much damage on the side of the Razor. Uh, Luna got sucked for a little bit too much, and uh, Rubik ends up going down. This part just furiously trying to land the hook onto this Luna, but Luna already away, farming the small camp. Oh no, Ember Spirit ends up going down. Let's have a look. Chang in the mid lane has his remnants. But TP rotation are coming through from the Spirit Breaker. Oh no, the bash. The slide. Oh no. The slide wasn't quite there. Not able to dodge the crush. And then between the crush and then the uh, charge from the Spirit Breaker. Enough to get the kill into the Ember Spirit. A little bit unfortunate. But uh, it's, it's, it's really rough, man. Like, uh, you know, heroes like Spirit Breaker, um, Slaughter. Heroes that just like literally just run at you. It's uh, it's hard. Oh, it's charge coming on through onto the Earth Spirit under the tower. Spirit Breaker needs to be a little bit careful, but he's able to juke into the trees. Rubik did show up for this, but Racer trying to hunt down any kills, trying to help out his body, but his body was not long for this world. We're gonna end up going down, and oh my god, so many kills! <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> That's how it look. Spirit Breaker gonna end up going down up the top. Spirit, making it go into the Slardar. 
Sardar dropping pretty low, both trying to man fight, but the triple remnant is there and he gets the kill. Nicely done there by the Ember Spirit. Getting the recurring kill onto the Slardar. <laughs> wow, crazy game, man. Crazy game. Uh, this this Slardar really trying to man fight and underestimating the amount of magical damage that can come from this Ember Spirit. You know, I thought he was gonna win the gonna win the battle, but this Ember Spirit with the triple remnant able to secure the kill. Uh oh, I think I actually switched to um to levels there by accident, my bad. But I'm just gonna switch back to net worth. So before I forget. But this uh this Dark Seer having a pretty good time. This PA able to farm up quite decently, surprisingly. I think a lot of the last hits that were coming through from the Dark Seer were actually like uh neutral cramps. So his um you know the his last kick count was a little bit um um, a little bit overrated, um, you know, the amount of farm that he actually had was not actually that much. Let's see, oh, PA actually going for the treads and going for the battle fury as well, I was actually curious about that, over by the mid, Spirit Breaker going on to the Ember Spirit, oh, Ember Spirit wants to get a little bit aggressive, I need to be a little bit careful, the slide not quite enough to finish off the kill and the remnant didn't quite connect. Oh no. The Slaughter has the Echo Saber already, but TP rotations coming in through from the Dire. Nice little lift under the tower and then the, the Rock Kick. They managed to get the kill onto the Slaughter. That's a pretty big kill. A little, little bit of an overcommitment by the Slaughter. Uh, sticking around on 2 low of an HP and the rotations were there from the Dire. Really nicely done there. Uh, definitely, you can definitely not let this Slaughter, like, you know, snowball out of control. Because if you do, he'll just run away with the game. But, like I was saying, um, I'm curious, like, uh, interesting, uh, PA going for the treads, this is normally the unconventional, uh, build, um, uh, people usually like to go for the, for the face boots, you know, uh, get that extra armor, that extra move speed, but, you know, treads, good for, uh, attack speed, but, Darkseer, you're getting gone on, oh no, and the crit was there at the last moment, before he's able to surge away, Slara even TPing in for this. A little bit unfortunate there that the Darkseer ended up going down there. He thought, you know, so far into this game, they have been pretty much ignoring the, whole, the, the bot lane, but... Spirit Breaker makes a rotation down here, and even a Slaughter, and they get the kill onto the Darkseer. A little bit unfortunate. Razor making a whole lot of space. There's three Dire Heroes over here, and they're not able to quite connect on through to the Razor. So really nicely done there by the race and creating quite a bit of space and uh, applying a decent amount of pressure onto this top tower. Slide chains. Oh, but the charge is going to come on through. He does manage to get the remnant out into the safety of his tower, so he's going to make it away. Nicely done there. Dark's here. Surging on forward. Oh, he's just going to be surging to the, to the neutral camp. Oh, is he going to get the pull off? No. Oh, and I get I miss a kill onto Luna. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Let's go over it. Boom. Oh no, Luna. Sitting pretty low. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Going for the mask of madness straight up. No treads, no face. Wants to start increasing her uh farming speed. Pops the eclipse. Oh, but the hook is there and they secure the kill. That was a nice attempt by the Luna. Uh, trying to get the kill onto the punch, but... You know, the... Plasma field and then the hook is able to land and they secure the kill onto the Luna. It was it was a good idea. You know, you, you want to get a kill so you can catch back, right back up into the game, but it doesn't quite work it out. Uh, Earth Spirit actually ends up going down under his tier 1 and now... Rubik gets ran down. Slara able to intercept him in the jungle, and yeah, things are not looking good <laughs> for the side of the Dire, it's, uh, oh, and they're gonna take a stack as well, Mayon, that was meant to be for the Luna, for her to catch right back up, looks like she's gonna try to TP to the tier 2, like, uh, she definitely knows that they're doing this, needs to be a little bit careful, charge coming on through, her spirit gonna TP on over, and it looks like that's gonna deter the Radiant from pushing any any further. Rubik TPing over as well. They do have vision of the Luna and the Earth Spirit, so they might have <laughs> Hook actually connecting through onto the Earth Spirit. Charge coming on through onto the Earth Spirit. It's getting focused down, dropping pretty low. It's gonna end up going down. 
And now Slardar charging on forward. Curves the pace onto the Rubik. Oh, Plasma Field slowing the Rubik down. No, oh my god. That corrosive haze and then between the Echo Saver, um, Bash of the Deep is just so much damage. The one saving grace is that this PA, like the one saving grace for the Dire is that this PA did a nice stack. Uh, is that the PA did end up going for, you know, the power treads. Um, oh, well, I thought Hook coming on through onto the Darkseer, connecting on through. Looks like Dire wanted to take a fight. But maybe not the moment to take a fight, you know, your supports are not quite there and uh, Eclipse is on cooldown. Oh no, and now Earth, uh, Ember Spirit dropping pretty low, the hook almost connecting on through. Nether Strike onto the Ember Spirit, not quite finishing off the kill and the Spirit Breaker gonna lose his life for it. On the other side of things, Spirit Break, um, <laughs> Earth Spirit is gonna end up going down as well. Wow, very, very hectic fight around the Dire Jungle. Uh, a little bit unfortunate that the it was the right idea, you know, the for the for the Darkseer to show up, but not quite the right timing. Um, sure, you you needed to help your team, but you know, just wait for your supports, wait for your cooldowns to come uh, to be available, uh, so you can actually take a fight. I think if uh, maybe the Darkseer waited, like I think when he showed up, like Eclipse was on, on cooldown for another 20 seconds. I think he could have waited, like you know, another 20 seconds, maybe smoked up or get a little. Bit. They have some good vision as well. Um, but yeah, just wait for your supports and wait for your um, for your ultis. Uh, you had good vision around the around your jungle, so you definitely could have taken a good fight. You did take a decent fight, but it could have been better. Oh, nice! The stolen hook, connecting through onto the slaughter. Slaughter. I'm gonna use the sprint. Trying to run away, but the Ember Spirit is there with the Remnant Slight Chain combo. Gonna secure the kill onto the slaughter. That's a big kill going through the way of the Ember. Ember gonna be quite happy about that. So signs of life for the side of the dire, even though they're 4k uh 4k net worth down, they're you know, they're still kicking it. And now they're gonna start putting pressure onto this bot tower. They wanna hunt down this PA. Oh the chain's not quite connecting, the RNG wasn't in favor of the Ember Spirit there. But TP rotations are gonna come on through from the side of the radiant. Spirit Breaker charging on forward, another strike connecting through onto Earth Spirit. Hook, oh, connecting through onto the Earth Spirit. That's so unfortunate. They secure the kill. Stolen Hook almost connecting on through. This Ember Spirit trying to chase for the Spirit Breaker kill furiously, but Ember will need to be a little bit careful. There's not enough mana. And Slaughter is going to show up. The Hook connecting through onto the Ember Spirit. He does manage to get the Remnant out. Oh, Luna securing the kill onto the PA with the Eclipse. That's a big kill right there. And now I think the Dire need to start retreating. Chain? Oh my god, Slardar just gets bursted down by the magic burst. Lucent Beam and the Fade Bolt and, you know, the tower. Enough to finish off the kill onto the Slardar. Slardar getting a little bit too antsy there. He doesn't have any, you know, any uh, magic resist items. Oh, Spirit Breaker and a little bit of trouble. Dropping pretty low. The Magnetize doing quite a bit of work. He is going to end up falling down and, wow, <laughs> the, the Dire taking a very favorable fight. There's Spirit popping the smoke, trying to get that movement speed, but... PA gonna show up. Oh, actually, the hook. <laughs> he lands onto the PA. No way. This is insane. I think the the rating just needs to give give. They just need to give this up. They're going in one by one. You know, this PA spawned in, tries to go in, just with a punch into the whole squad of the dire. The, the dire have healed up pretty nicely, and they, they feed again. Another kill onto the PA, and the punch ends up going down there as well. <laughs> Jesus, that that engagement was so long, and yeah, this um, this slaughter are getting a little bit too antsy. I think, uh, you know, PA. Oh, can't even get uh, my thoughts on the game. You know, people dying left and right. Let's have a look. Plasma field connecting through onto the air spirit and the charge. Finish off the kill onto the air spirit. But yeah, dude, that fight, so freaking long, and then also, like, they don't have any, you know, Slaughter doesn't have any any magic resist items, uh, neither does the Pudge, uh, Razor does, like a good offlaner, but, you know, this, um, this Slaughter, oh, charge, another strike, and the, and the Link coming on through onto the Ember Spirit, you might want to be a little bit careful. Remnant is gonna be there, so he gets back to the safety of his tower, but you need to be careful. This racer deals quite a bit of damage. The racer is dropping pretty low, hook connecting on through. Nice wall-back wall, uh, wall combo combo coming on through. This member onto the Earth Spirit. 
But it gets cancelled out by the Lucent Beam and they get the kill onto the Pudge. Wow. They do claim the tower on the side of the Radiance, but... Jesus, man, these fights. Very hectic. Both teams just bring, bringing in everything. Let's see. Slaughter actually choosing to not go for the blink at all and just goes for the for the shadow blade. Um, I'm a little bit concerned for the slaughter because he you no know, he, he he needs some type of um, some type of sustain or um, magic resist or something because he's just getting bursted down way too much by you know he's uh, the type of playstyle he's trying to go. You're not you know it's super in your face aggressive madman type of style but you know if you don't have any like magic resist or or anything like that or any type of sustain then it's gonna be pretty hard to you know keep up with that playstyle we'll see how he's gonna be able to do uh, let's see if pa is doing has the battle fury gonna be going for the desolator next pretty standard stuff once his pa has this desolator should be pretty scary once uh you know corrosive hate gets applied onto the enemy heroes and pa does manage to jump on but no BKBs just yet, so, you know, this Eclipse is gonna be able to do quite a bit of work, and same thing for, you know, the magic damage, the lightning coming on through from uh, the Ember Spirit, and then also the Magnetize. There's a lot of magic damage coming on through from the Dire Squad. Over at top, Luna does get picked off. Oh, a little bit unfortunate. Let's rewind a few seconds, see what happened there. But, yeah, this uh, these BKBs, they're they're gonna be very crucial for the side of, um, the side of the Radiant, um... Before they get them, you know, Luna is gonna be able to show up, pop the Eclipse, and take some pretty good fights. But until then, oh, a charge coming on through, and then they even smoked up. Charge connect, another strike, and double hit, corrosive haze, and then the Desolator from the PA. Actually, it doesn't have the Desolator yet. Just the, just the Basher. I mean the Basher, the Battle Fury. <laughs> I mean she dropped down so quickly. I thought she had a Desolator already, but uh, man, it's uh, not good, not good going down on the Luna like that. But it's it's rough, man. Like um, you know, you're farming, you're pushing out a wave somewhere along the map, and then like Spirit Breaker comes in, charges in onto you, and then three heroes all of a sudden show up. Yeah, it's it's rough. I like to see them try to take a fight around this eclipse. Um, you know, try to use this eclipse right now that this pretty much, you know, Slaughter doesn't. I mean, does have the double bracer, but you know, doesn't have any magic resist items. Or oh. Air Spirit gonna end up going down. Back uh, wall does get popped. Link coming through onto the Ember Spirit. Eclipse does get popped. Then a good bit of damage onto the onto the Spirit Breaker and then the hook ah, connecting onto the Slaughter and then the Lucent Beam's enough to secure the kill, oh no but the Racer, is he gonna be able to get the kill onto the Luna? He needs one more hit and the Vision oh the Plasma Field not quite connecting and the Chain's holding him into place, nicely done there by the Ember Spirit and you know they only lose the Earth Spirit and they take a pretty good fight like uh, even though it didn't start the greatest but hey they, they managed to take a good fight they get a big kill onto the slaughter and the, and the spirit breaker and they only lose their air spirit for it i think you're pretty happy about that actually you're gonna be there with the lotus orb nice item oh hook coming through onto the air spirit does manage to silence them up so those not know this member gonna be coming on through nicely done there by the by the air spirit immediately silencing the punch Charge coming on through onto the air spirit. Another strike. This member. Oh, but the hook. Oh no, the hook didn't quite uh, pull him all the way back because of the bash from the spirit breaker. Otherwise, that would have been a really nice hook coming on through from the Rubik. Now Rubik getting chased down. Charge. Bash. That. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate. And now this PA is going to be able to clear these stacks. Uh, how much longer for Eclipse? 50 seconds. Yeah. Dire just need to chill until they have uh, their Eclipse back up. Luna not really not really looking to fight right now. Doesn't have um, doesn't have that much uh, that much farm. Uh, you know, ideally she'd want to have um, Manta plus plus one item. Oh, it looks like Slaughter are gonna move into the pit. Over by the mid. Darkseer. A little bit of trouble. Needs to be careful. Dagger does get reflected back thanks to the Lotus Orb. Does have the mechanism. Ooh, it's not able to pop it. And so going down there, a little bit unfortunate. I think uh, 
the Reigns are just gonna go into the Roche now. Yep. Uh, I wonder who they're gonna give the Aegis to, if it's gonna be the PA or the um, Slaughter. We'll just see. Didi on the Slaughter, okay, that's why he was doing Roche so quickly. Actually, they're gonna give it to the Slaughter. Interesting. But I guess he, they want him to be be the one going in, initiating the fights, so I guess it makes sense. And BKB coming on through from the slaughter, that's going to be a big item. And then when PA gets her BKB, that's going to be a huge, uh, huge power spike coming through from the Radiant. If the Dyer are able to survive, you know, that power spike from the from the BKB from the PA, I favor them going into the late game because... You know, this Darkseer hero, the, the later the game goes, he's only going to get stronger. Oh, Charge coming on through onto the Earth Spirit. He was just trying to push out the ways. Corrosive Haze gets applied onto him. The crit is there, and they finish off the kill onto the Earth Spirit. But honestly, I think you're quite okay with that as a Dire. You know, they catch out um, they catch out your Earth Spirit, you know, your tank uh, smoke. I think you're quite happy about that. You get the info of where the first of the raiding heroes are, then you're able to farm freely across the other side of the map as Luna. So I think, honestly, not that bad, even though you lose your air spirit. But yeah, if um, if the Dire are able to survive the... Yeah, here we go, the BKB coming on through from the PA. If they're able to survive this BKB coming on through from the uh, from the PA and the, and the following fights after that, you know, once this BKB from, you know, the Slaughter and the, and the PA start going to those low charges, those 6 second charges. It's gonna be much easier to kite and this Eclipse is gonna do quite a bit of work. Nice little ward there, try to defend their own tower. Sentry as well there. Oh, fight coming on through onto the enemy, onto the triangle. Oh, nice wall back combo and then the Eclipse. No way. That was a beautiful initiation by the Darkseer coming on through. Aegis and Slugs by the Slaughter. I'm not a lot of trouble. Gonna end up going down and the rest of the Radiant have to just back away. That was a beautiful initiation by the Dark Zero. Props to him. That was... Woo! Woo! Three men back wall combo. And the, you know, the two damage dealers weren't really there. Oh, and they managed to find the Racer as well. Oh my god. I am so impressed by this Dire squad. Able to, even though you know they're they're far behind, they're able to kick it back to the uh, to the side of the radiant with their with a the nice initiation and their team fight. You know, just the eclipse, the wall back combo, it's insane. And then they also find an initiation where the two biggest damage dealers were not there. You know, this um, I uh, you know. You could also say that Slaughter is also one of the big uh, damage dealers, but I definitely think uh, Racer and PA are. Um, much more important that you know dispensing the damage i think slaughter is more of a enabler hook connecting through but nice remnant to get out they managed to get the kill onto the spirit breaker and now slaughter are dropping pretty low luna just starts to lay it onto him dismember coming on through onto the dark seer but it's not gonna be enough push is gonna end up going down spirit breaker with the buyback gonna charge on through onto the luna trying to get the kill onto the luna racer starts to link the luna and starts focusing her down lucent beam is gonna be there try to secure some space you'll sit there does come on through nice hook coming on through but the nether strike follows her all the way through they managed to get the kill and now rubik in a lot of trouble ember spirit needs to start thinking about re retreating out Dagger, connecting through onto the Earth Spirit, no more charges on the Remnants, but the wall is gonna be there, oh no, is it gonna get the kill onto the PA? Wow, surviving on a slither of HP, 50 HP, <laughs> very clutch wall coming on through, but the Remnant and the Slight, oh not quite enough, they really wanted to get that kill, the Plasma Field and then the Static Link, now sucking all the damage from the Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit not long for this world, nice dodge off the Dagger there, it's gonna end up going down regardless though. I think he actually should have let that dagger. Um, oh, the hook is gonna be there. I think he actually should have let that dagger connect on through because the dark seer. Um, oh, oh, you'll set on cooldown. Uh, I actually think he should have let that dagger hit him because um, he was lotus orbed. So if the dagger um, dagger bounces back and it's like a and it's a crit, that could have actually been a kill onto the PA. But wow, insane fight coming on through. The um, honestly, it was a. Uh, I think it was only one buyback, but in side fight coming on through, also really clutch wall coming on through from the dark zero. Was unfortunate he didn't have uh, more mana or his spells were cool and I didn't quite catch it. So he was only able to place down the wall. Um, 
but really nice wall stalling uh stalling for his uh for his ember spirit barely him out of trouble and then they they go back in to try to get the kill into the pa i can understand you know you really want that kill into the pa but they end up paying with this life but honestly it's not that bad i i can appreciate the the attempt at uh going for the kill into the pa i, I can respect that as a you know, sometimes when you when you're a mid laner, you know, or like playing at heroes like Ember Spirit or something like that, you need to be a little bit bossy. And it looks like Ember gonna pick up his Hagen Scepter, so you know he's gonna have um, that uh, those Remnant charges a lot more often now, and uh, also the range which uh, his Remnant initiation is gonna come onto is gonna be a lot a lot bigger now. Nice wall back combo coming on through onto three heroes. They don't even need the Eclipse. Eclipse still at the ready. It's gonna pop it now, but Racer with a fresh BKB gonna be able to pop that. Ember Spirit with the fresh Agon Scepter gonna be able to make his escape. And it looks like uh, the Radiant able to kite out the Eclipse. Eclipse does get used, but not really amounting to anything. Um, a little bit unfortunate. They, they didn't quite see that uh, the Racer had just picked up a fresh BKB. But honestly, you're pretty happy about that fight if you're the side of the Dire. Like, you know, I, I'd say that the Dyer have a, a much better team fight, and if uh, the Dyer are on equal grounds or ahead of the Radiant, then the Radiant are in quite a bit of trouble. PA not quite here, not quite having a BKB yet. Needs about another 300 gold for that. Static Lake. <laughs> Dude, this Pudge, the amount of times this Pudge has hooked his own teammates is actually kind of insane. Racer, now in a lot of trouble, doesn't have the BKB wall, the vac. Holding him into place, then the roll through, almost connecting through onto the slaughter. Remnant coming on through, chains, one more second. It's Ember Spirit charging on forward, and this Ember Spirit also trying to find something. They're not able to find the connection. Oh, but the hook connects on through onto the Spirit Breaker. The kickback, they get the kill onto the Spirit Breaker. Wow, dude, this entire team playing out of their minds. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Also, the stolen hooks from the Rubik have come in pretty clutch at some moments. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see, man. Fortification is gonna come on through from the side of the Radiant. Oh my god, no way, dude. I was like, oh, you know, random hook from the Rubik is probably not gonna connect onto anything. Connects onto the Slaughter, Jesus. Probably not gonna be able to find a kill. Oh my god, this Earth Spirit's a madman. They find a kill to the slaughter? No way, dude. BKB gets popped by the PA, but it's not gonna really amount to anything. And <laughs> oh, Pudge again with the hook onto the teammate, dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, this is too good, man. This is too good. Dude, this Rubik with the hooks, able to connect the hook onto the slaughter, and I'm like, oh, you know what? This, uh, this slaughter is just gonna be able to get away, you know? This is just, uh. It's, they're just too close to the tier three, you know. They're still the tier two, but the but the air spirit's like, nah, man, we're going in. Rolls in, kicks the slaughter back, and they're able to secure the kill with the loosen beam. Ah, man, that was beautiful. Uh, let's have a look. MKB coming on through from the air spirit wants to deal a little bit more damage to the PA. Uh, Senyin Kaya spin completed for the Luna. What is he going for next? Aghanim Scepter. Whoo, whoo. You thought Eclipse was dealing uh, damage now, wait until she gets her uh, her Aghanim Scepter. Let's see, what's the next item for the PA? Basher? Yep. Slaughter doesn't have the BKB, dude. I'm so, like... This Slaughter has such a good start, but I feel like his itemization was so bad. Like, uh, that he just gave away the lead. Like, um, dude, Moonshard, like... Sure, I get it, you know, like, Moonshard, you know, you want to click more, get your bashes coming on through, but, like, if you're not, like, if you're not snowballing super hard, then, dude, just get your BKB, man, like, go for the safe option, it's like, it's, uh, I read a Reddit thread, uh, not too long ago, it's like, you know, people don't really trust themselves, oh, hold that thought, Link coming on through, the jewel scepter up in the air, BKB even gets popped for it, Oh, they're able to find the kill onto the Luna, not really able to finish off the kill, uh, not really able to hold the Racer down into place while the BKB was running, but now that the BKB is over, they able to secure the kill onto the Racer on the other side of things. Air Spirit and Darkseer do end up going down. Oh, and they get the kill onto the Rubik now. Ember Spirit needs to start hauling. Oh, but they get vision of him. 
Dude, on, like, uh, dude, your remnants can go so much further than that. Like, uh, literally, like, almost halfway across the map. Um, I, I'm just being picky here. Um, but, you know, you can uh, you can cast your remnants, like, so much further than uh, what he actually casted them. But uh, I'm just being picky. But, yeah, back onto my point onto the slaughter. It's like, uh, I read it, read it through. Oh. Not much is gonna come of it. It's like combo. Oh, but the fuck connects on through onto the Ember Spirit. He's able to get to this member. He jumps over to the Remnant. And they get the kill onto the Ember Spirit. Big kill. Nicely done there by the Pudge. He's, uh. Yeah, that was his moment of redemption after hooking uh, all of his teammates. Dyer are gonna scan into the pit. And looks like the Radiant are gonna be able to go into the pit. And they're gonna be able to claim this Roshan for free. I don't think the. The Dyer are going to be able to contest on between the Corrosive Haze and the Desolator. Roshan is just going to fall very quickly. And yeah, now they give the Aegis to the PA, Cheese onto the Slaughter. Uh, but yeah, like like I was saying, like, you know, this, um, this Mushar on the Slaughter is like, um, it's like, sure, you know, you, you want to deal as much damage as possible. You get that crazy attack speed coming on through with the Echo Saber and the Moonshot and everything. But it's like, you know, you have your carry. Like, um, all you all you really need to do is, like, enable this PA to carry, you know. St stun the heroes that she goes, goes on to apply the Corrosive Haze and y your PA will carry. Um, and it's just uh, it's just such a shame that, you know, he wants uh, those items. He, he wouldn't be able to uh, snowball so much more if he went uh, different items. And yeah, like I said uh, in, a, in the Reddit thread that I read, it's like, people don't really trust each other to, like, carry. Like, uh, you know, you see a lot of off laners going, like, you know, crazy items to, like, you know, try to carry. Same thing for the mid laners. It's like, dude, you know, just, like, enable your team. Like, uh, enable your carry and... Uh, honestly, sometimes that is more effective than just trying to go for, like, you know, these carry items, like... Only shard and try to deal crazy amounts of damage. Like, sure, that works when you're like snowballing super hard out of control. But like, yeah, he weren't, really wasn't snowballing that hard. Hook coming on through, connects onto the, onto the Rubik. Lucent Beam is gonna cancel out. The clips coming on through, but a lot of BPBs are coming on through. Now Luna in a lot of trouble. It's gonna end up going down. Ember Spirit not able to remnant out since remnant wasn't quite uh, wasn't quite far enough, and then the charge coming on through onto the Rubik. Rubik in a lot of trouble. They do find a kill onto the Pudge, but Rubik ends up going down. Lotus Over gets applied on through onto the Earth Spirit, but he's not long for this world. He's gonna end up going down as well. And yeah, BKBs man, BKBs coming on through. Now that all three cores of the of the Radiant have the BKBs, it's uh, it's getting a little bit rough for the Dyer, they need to cut out these BKBs. Need to, they need to find some type of way to bait out the BKBs from the side of the... Um, from the side of the Radiant before you actually commit on through with the Eclipse. I know it's easier said than done, but you need to try to find some type of way, maybe Ember Spirit jumps in and like Dark Seer also jumps in and like uh, you know you fake an initiation, they pop the BKBs, you kite the BKBs and then you can go in with the Eclipse but uh, just going straight in raw like you, you were doing before before they had the BKBs not gonna fly anymore now that they have the BKBs looks like they're gonna be able to claim a set of racks Dark Seer does have wall in another 10 seconds well, looks like the uh, Radiant are gonna back away. Not really want to push their luck. Oh, here. Oh, okay. It's just uh, it's just a shard coming on through. I thought somebody was getting initiated on. I really like uh, the shard on Pudge, and I'm super glad he actually went for it. It's a pretty cool shard. You know, it's kind of like a pseudo save. Oh. Back in wall, coming on through, 1 to 2 heroes, looks like they're gonna be able to find a kill onto the Pudge and Ember Spirit jumping on through, baiting out the BKBs, that's a pretty good fight, to, pretty, start, pretty good start to the fight if they're able to cut out the BKBs, but oh no, Luna ends up going down, she had Eclipse, yeah, he's gonna buy back, wants to finish off some of the enemy heroes coming on through, Razor dropping pretty low, it looks like he's gonna be able to make it out, PA, still has the Aegis, but doesn't have the BKB, Slaughter, Going in pretty deep, trying to chase for this Ember kill, but it's gonna end up going down. Racer is still poking away. 
They find a kill into the... What? Wait, 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 what? I am so confused. Oh my god, the PA gets caught out. Oh, that's why the racer was trying to go in. I get it now. Dude, I thought that was an illusion or like something. I didn't think it was the, the PA and they find the kill into the PA. That's a huge kill. Oh, nice remnant coming on through. Long range. Oh, the slide and the chain does miss. But I think they're going to be able to find the racer regardless. And they take a really good fight on the side of the... On the side of the on the side of the dire, uh, you know, you cut out your BKBs, you you fake their BKBs. I think the the rain were definitely uh, very antsy there with their BKBs. Uh, when their Ember Spirit jumped them, they're like, okay, BKB. Uh, but you know, they're able to back away, cut it out. Luna does get picked off, but she buys back. She doesn't even use the Eclipse, so Eclipse is still uh, available for the next fight. Oh. Air Spirit does get picked off, trying to push out some of these towers. But, really nice fight, really good buyback coming on through from the Luna, and uh, coming in back to the fight and finishing off some of these kills. That was a pretty big fight. Still, an 11, 11k net worth lead, but honestly, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel like uh, the Dire out of it by any stretch of the imagination. They're doing pretty well for themselves. Although, if they do find a kill onto this Luna, it's gonna be pretty damn bad, so this Luna needs to be a little bit careful. Let's see where items are coming on through. Uh, Satanic, gonna be there for the Phantom Assassin. <laughs> Even Spirit Breaker has a BKB. Mm, Slaughter, gonna be going for the Bloodthorn, okay. Steal a little bit more damage, silence out some of these uh, some of these opponents. I mean, hey, it will be pretty effective against uh, against the Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit doesn't really have a, any way to dispel it so far. So the Ember will be going for the Glefnir. Mm, I think he has got the MKB completed. Yeah, he does. Let's see, Razor going for the Heart, trying to tank up a little bit more. Uh, what is that? Lotus Orb for the Pudge? Yeah, pretty cool. It's good against the uh, against good against the Luna. Reflect back some of the Lucent beams. Oh, nice attempt at the hook there. Not gonna quite connect though. <laughs> I can't believe now he's laughing. Like uh, you know, he misses. Like that hook was like I wasn't even expecting him to land it. Oh, but Blink coming on through with the dismember. But Rubik was with the, there with the lift, canceling the dismember. Ooh. Hook almost connecting on through. Really nicely done there by the Rubik, bailing his uh, MS Spirit out of trouble there. But it looks like the Dire want to take a fight. Still our BKB, so they do need to be careful. Oh, nice wall back combo popping on through. BKBs are gonna get popped. Air Spirit are gonna end up going down. Eclipse is gonna get popped as well. But Luna dropping pretty low. Oh. PA ends up going down here. BKB just ended towards the end of that. So they get a big kill onto the PA, even though they lose the their Luna Ember Spirit, trying to jump back in, reinitiate things on through. Darkseer, game bashed up. Ember Spirit needs to jump away. But when it's all said and done, it's gonna be a three for three. So I don't think the, the Dire are actually gonna be able to push this out. And I mean Hey, uh, this this benefits the the dire quite a bit, you know, delaying the game as much as possible. Like uh, right now, the name of the game, even though it's 39 minutes in, is the delay the game. <laughs> Try to get some more items coming on through. It's like Luna will be going for the fourth staff and then going into the pike. I like that. Trying to create some of this uh, a little bit of space so that you know, once you do get jumped by you know, Slaughter. The Spirit Breaker PA, you're able to create that distance. Mm. Slicker on the Racer, that's quite a nice neutral item. Dispelling any shenanigans coming on through your way. Bloodthorn is completed for the Slaughter, so this uh, Ember Spirit will need to be a little bit careful uh, when he does uh, approach the Slaughter. And to the Slaughter, actually, like. Dude, he right clicks first so he right clicks so fast it's actually insane Let's see oh I want to make it go into this racer racer does have the BKB pops the pipe now pops the BKB honestly oh he doesn't have the TP hook actually connecting through 
onto the Ember Spear, but the Rubik was there to be able to cancel the dismember, so the Pudge not even gonna bother. Oh, the wall vacuum combo a little bit off the mark there. Spear Breaker joining into the fight. Ember Spirit jumping away just at the last second, very nicely done. Oh, but the stolen hook connecting through onto the push, securing the kill. Nicely done there by the Rubik. Oh, nice light there. But it might not be enough, but Luna has shown up with the Eclipse. I don't think there's any more BKB, so this should be quite effective. PA shows up to the fight. Racer. Dropping pretty low, but the PA does get on top of the Luna. Luna with the four staff able to four staff onto the low ground. Nicely done there. Bye bye coming on through from the Ember Spirit. Nicely done. Oh, oh, oh. Luna almost ends up going down to the PA. PA jumping the Luna, but Luna was there with the Lucent Beam able to secure the kill onto the PA and the Dire take a really good fight. Um, it was a little bit unfortunate that the that when they started off the fight, the wall back combo didn't quite land. But it was okay, honestly. Like, you know, they baited the Razor BKB at the beginning of that. Then the rest of the enemy heroes showed up. They popped the BKBs, but, uh, you know, the Dire able to kite those out. And then by the time Luna shows up, pretty much no one has BKB. I think PA hadn't been, uh, hadn't been there in the fight. Uh, she only showed up to the fight after Luna showed up. Uh, but when she pops the uh, when she pops the eclipse, she's able to do so much work onto the enemy heroes. And by the time the PA shows up, the you know her team is either dead or half dead, and they're able to kite out the the, the PA. Really nice uh, four staff uh, purchase there by the Luna. And now Pudge gonna end up going down. Ball vacuum does get popped. Razor popping the BKB as well. Massive buybacks coming on through from the side of the radiant. And now if you're the dire, it's time to start hauling ass. Ooh wee! You can tell the Radiant are mad. <laughs> you can tell the Radiant are mad, dude. Those buybacks. Ish. Honestly, that's given the dude 1k network lead for the for the Radiant, dude. Like uh those buybacks are gonna give a huge opening for this dire squad. Like if any of these three heroes, Slaughter, Razor, Pudge, die, they're gonna be dead for a pretty long time. So that that oh Dude, this, that opens the, the game open quite a bit. This is honestly the best spot that, that I have been in throughout the entire game. Oh, Earth Spirit not able to roll away the hook. Oh, to try to bail out his teammate. Not going to quite be there. Spirit Breaker does pop the BKB. Ember Spirit. Got to remnant away. He's going to be okay. Earth Spirit will be buying back. Roshan, the next big point of contention. Let's see if... Um, the Dyer are gonna choose to actually contest this, but looks like the Radiant actually not quite going in, not committing for the Roche. The Dyer do have some really nice vision out around this pit. Spirit Rigger putting down the Sentry Ward, starting to lay down some vision. Maybe thinking about going into the Roche pit. Both teams, very. Very tense moment right now for both teams. Oh, Yusefter does connect on through onto the Luna. Luna in quite a bit of trouble. Does get initiated on, but a nice wall back combo connecting on through on quite a few heroes. And Luna able to create some space. Does pop the Eclipse, but it's going to end up going down regardless. Has buyback, but there's no Eclipse, so I'm not sure she does want to buy back. Pudge dropped pretty low. Rubik is going to end up going down. Buybacks are coming to come through from both the Rubik and the Luna. PA dropping pretty low, does have the satanic, but the hook from the punch! <laughs> and the PA ends up going down there, this member coming on through onto the air spirit. Slaughter dropping pretty low, it's gonna end up going down. Jesus, these fights man, remnant forward, slight chains, they're gonna get the kill, wow. Wow, insane bro, I think this, this, uh, I think this might be it, honestly. Um, PA has no buyback. Uh, Slaughter, Razor, Pudge, they all died and they all bought back. Honestly, they can take this tier 3 and then go straight for the throne. And dude, Luna takes structures so fast. Let's see if they actually go for the, uh, for the jugular after taking this tier 3. Oh, they're hitting the racks, but honestly, they should just go for the throne. And yeah, they will. They're gonna start hitting the throne and yeah, this is gonna be GG. Wow, what a game, bro. What a game. Like, uh, 
big blunders coming on through from the side of the Radiant, and the Dire able to capitalize from it so well. Uh, um, dude, I think one of my favorite sayings, like, uh, for for situations like this, is like, you know, you give your opponent, uh, you give your opponent an inch, and they'll take a mile, and the Dire certainly took the mile. Wow, really pulling through there. Some beautiful wall back combos coming on through, and then the Rubik with some also beautiful hooks coming on through. Bailing his uh, Ember Spirit more than a few times out of the out of this member. Uh, just wow, really nicely done there. Also that that play from the Air Spirit by the tier three where Rubik uh, lands like a random hook onto the Slaughter. Slaughter drops down pretty low and I'm like, okay, you know the Slaughter, you know, he's gonna be able to run away. He's close to his tier three, there's still a tier two, but Earth Spirit, like the man man he should be, uh, rolls on in, connects the roll and then kicks the Slaughter back and then uh, Luna secures the kill with the Lucent Beam. Just really insane uh, team fight coming on through from the side of the die. Really impressed by the way they were able to execute this game. Even though it was rough, like, you know, once this PA got her fresh BKB and so did the Slardar, things were a little bit rough, you know, because you, were, you weren't quite able to just, you know, pop the Eclipse. Now you got to play a little bit of... Um, little bit of uh you can jive you know you you go in you try to bait their bkbs then you kite the bkbs and you come back in with the eclipse it's uh it gets a little bit rougher definitely the game plan does become a little bit harder but you know they're able to execute it so damn well really impressed by uh by this dire squad but damn what a game anyways guys that's gonna be it for me thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the channel any way you can with us liking the video subscribing or sharing with your friends however if you're not bothered the mere fact to watch this video is good enough for me thank you guys peace out